Guys, I'm going to show you how to create a color palette in a Silhouette Studio. Um, just, you know, in case you want to do that for any kind of project that you're working on. Um, if you want to know how to pick up colors from images instead of just directly in Silhouette Studio, I can um, link you to a video in this description that will show you how to do that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you how to do everything strictly in Silhouette Studio. Um, I like to create a header for my um, color palette, so I'm going to do that really quick um, by selecting my text tool or text panel over here. And I've already got the font that I want to use selected. Um, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Um, and I'm going to type color palette. But you can make this like, you know, brand colors or just whatever you wanted to call the color palette. Um, and now I'm going to just, this is my OCD making me do this. It's not going to be cut, so it doesn't really matter if you weld it or not, but I'm going to weld it to make it look a little bit better and then group it, um, and then fill it in black and get rid of the outline color. And there's the header. So to build boxes to fill in, all you have to do is select your shape tool. Um, right now I've got the circle selected, but I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, your rectangle tool, um, and I'm going to make squares. So I'm going to just click and drag, and I have my uh, snap to grid selected, so it just makes everything, every time I drag it increases it or decreases it by a quarter of an inch. I just prefer to do it that way. Um, so this is a one and a half inch square right here. Um, and now I'm just going to select that and copy it a few times. Let's say we'll do five um, squares for this color palette. And I know they're not evenly spaced right now, um, but to evenly space them, I'm going to go to Object, Align, Align Middle. And then I'm going to go to Object, Align, and Space Horizontally. And now they're perfectly spaced. And I want to keep them ungrouped um, to fill them in. So now I've got some red squares. The red squares, as you know, if you've ever used Silhouette Studio, that's the cut lines. Um, I just want the lines to be black so they'll look a little bit better. So I've got my line uh, panel selected right here. I'm going to select the color, and I'm going to select black. Um, so now I want to fill those in. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the rectangle, click on my color fill panel, and um, you can either select any of these colors right here, like I'm going to select blue, or you can, if you know the hex code for the color that you want to use, you just select the rectangle, select your color fill panel, click on advanced options, and if you know the RGB code, you can put it here. I'll go by hex code. So I'm going to enter my brand's hex code color and hit enter. And now it filled it in pink. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you want to type, you know, the color names that you're using underneath the squares, you can do that. Um, let's select a different font to do that. Let's do this Fernando font just for fun. Um, and I'm going to make it about 25 points. So it's pretty small and just type blue and fill that in black um, get rid of the line color and yeah so now you could print this or you could just keep it on um, your silhouette computer screen whatever you wanted to do um, I am gonna make this a little bit bigger um, and you can put that underneath or you can put it in the box and center it just whatever works for you but anyway yeah it's super easy and I just feel like Creating a color palette is just really helpful uh, when you're working on new designs that involve color. Um, I like to do it, you know, when I'm making a layered decal and I want to make sure the colors look good together. Um, so anyway, yeah, I hope y'all found this video helpful. Um, and feel free to contact me on my website if you have any questions. I'll leave a link on how to contact me in the video description. Thanks.